Hello out there, Top of Manic fans. Greetings from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Hello to the group. Roll your own cigarettes. Great group. You need to join. Well, unless all you Top of Manic fans, which is our topic, knows all about the Top of Manic and how it works and how it doesn't work. And I've been through the hoops and I was ready to shoot this with a shotgun. I was ready to run it with a truck. It kept jamming. Anyway, listen to that. Sounds like a probably a little oil be good, but who, anyway, quickly. I was having trouble with it jamming, and so I started looking at it. And then it occurred to me from a guy that had a YouTube video that perhaps see how this plate. Of course, we all know that's the uh, tamper cutter as it moves up, and you know it seems to work fine. And then this cog comes in contact and of course then you make a cigarette make a cigarette make two cigarettes anyway notice how it rides on there well you know that makes sense and then it pulls it this little guy pulls it back well this is the key right here this little Watusi I, I just couldn't figure out what was going on so here's something that I saw on the YouTube video if you'll notice how nicely this fits in that hole and over here how look at that that thing is all deformed maybe because of one of those nights I had too much beer and decided to shove that lever shove it anyway that, I don't see how that would have done it though because that thing's already you know when this goes on when, when I'm shoving it this is just nicely in place but either way get to the point he said this becomes, he said it's cheap pop metal, these little nubs. And uh, so I thought, so I, I was just looking at it, you know, just looking at it. it. There's not a lot of rocket science here. It just goes back and forth. And, and I noticed that once this got to a certain point, it disengaged this little roller. In other words, it was about that far apart, which left some free play here. And if you'll notice, this moves. This little guy moves right here. This thing moves. Because if you wiggle it, see it? See it moving? Well, I didn't think that was a big deal, you know, but I thought, well, how can I get this thing to stay engaged? Voila! I thought, well, I'll just keep this. If I could keep this thing from moving any further and, and stay engaged with this, it would be locked into place. See, it's not moving now because it's engaged. It can't go nowhere. You know why it can't go anywhere? Because I put me a little pad right here. See it? It's a little, basically that, that the foam double stick tape, sided tape. I just took two little squares of it and stuck it together and stuck some, you can't see it, it's black masking tape. And I just taped it. So when this little guy goes, it stops. And it stays engaged and that way this will not move and that is locked in there nice and perfect and that thing works like a perfect like the day I bought it and I'm just so excited I'll just sit here all day and do that woohoo 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 anyway that's kind of did it so I mean it's a cheap fix I mean I could go buy another one of these uh these plates you know if this is right and that's right, it doesn't matter if that's dirty. Because I went I went through everything, trust me, and this is getting long already. But anyway, see that that is the issue. I could buy a new one of these. But I, it was like eight bucks plus eight bucks shipping. I thought, okay, sixteen bucks. I could put that towards a Powermatic three. But I just couldn't I just I just didn't want to give up. I just I just didn't want to give up. And I thought, well, if I can stop that right there so it stays in contact because before it would keep on this thing would keep on going all the way over the side and have wiggle it would have wiggle it'd be just like that and it would be that far apart even through this motion right here it would be away from it so that this had all kinds of wiggle room and what it was is it wasn't closing enough to meet up in other words, it, it, when, the, when it would squeeze the tobacco, 
and it kept going, it had wiggle room. So what happened is when it met the tobacco, it would come back a little bit and move away from the exit nozzle, which basically was pushing the tobacco up against the wall, which made it back up and log jam. And, and ever since I put that little pad right there, this thing, I mean, it, it fills it up. I mean, the cigarettes are perfect. This one, I'm looking at my cute little boogie boogie. Okay, new name. It, I mean, it fills them up just tight. So, anyway. I mean, I always do that. There's a little bit less, so I twist it so it won't come out in the packet. But anyway, that's all i got to say about that. I'm just thrilled to death. So, I made a video. That's how thrilled I was. Let's just play. Hoo-hoo. 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 I don't know what that noise is. But this right here, that's the key. If this thing, this thing needs to be locked, see, see it'll move now. And it, it moves that. I just can't get over it. And I can always replace that. I mean, I, I gotta, but see, now that I'm making a cigarette, when I, whoops, I moved my thingy. This thing is tight. When this was gone, this little foam thing, this thing would just wiggle back and forth like that. See how, see how that thing's moving? I thought, well, there you go. I can't believe it. I'm totally excited. You guys have a wonderful day, and remember, don't be safe, be a thrill seeker, go out there and chew on life. Smoke, smoke, smoke that cigarette.